Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're talking about balance of payments trends, in particular, how the balance of goods and services affects the current account deficit. So in terms of the syllabus, we're focusing on this dot point. Okay, if we look at the story with Australia's balance of payments, that there are four things that we need to focus on. One is the balance on goods and services. That's this column here. As you can see, BOGS, usually negative. The other thing is to look at net primary income. If we look at this column, okay, NPY, usually negative. So then if we look at the current account, we're like, well, balance on goods and services is usually negative and NPY is pretty much always negative. Okay, we are always going to have a current account deficit. And that's been the story for Australia going back to the 1980s. With a current account deficit, okay, money flowing in that causes that, there we go, a CAFA surplus. So those four columns are telling us the story with Australia's balance of payments. Okay, there are two main factors that causes Australia's current account deficit. One are cyclical factors, sorry, one is cyclical factors, and these are factors that vary with the level of economic activity. The other are structural factors, and they are things that continue even if the economy is doing relatively well or poorly. For the CAD, we look at BOGS and NPY as the two main causes of Australia's current account deficit. In this video, we're focusing on BOGS. This is just a summary slide, which you can pause and copy down. We're going to go through each of these through the next slides. So how does the balance on goods and services affect the CAD? So how does the BOGS cause a CAD? First are cyclical factors. So number one, movements in the exchange rate. Think about this. Uh, if the Australian dollar depreciates, it makes exports cheaper. So Australia will sell more exports. At the same time, a lower Australian dollar means imports are more expensive. So Australia will buy fewer imports. Okay, higher value of exports or, you know, more money being made from exports, lower cost of imports. This will improve BOGS and improve the current account deficit. Great. Number two is the terms of trade. Remember, the terms of trade is simply the ratio of export prices to import prices. Now, generally, a higher terms of trade means that Australia is receiving higher export prices than the price it pays for imports. So this is increasing export revenue relative to the cost of imports in improved BOGS and then improve the current account deficit. Final one, domestic economic growth. Think about it. If the Australian economy starts growing, people have more money, they want to consume, they're going to buy more imports. Okay, so more imports, uh, greater volume of imports being bought relative to exports, that's going to worsen BOGS and then also worsen or increase the current account deficit. Now, for each of these situations, what would be useful would be to pause this video and do the opposite situation. So for example, for cyclical factor number one, what would happen if the Australian dollar appreciated or went up in value? Those were the cyclical factors, so based on the level of economic activity. These are the structural factors, the persistent influences on BOGS and why BOGS leads to a CAD. Now, first factor is a narrow export base. Think about it this way. Australia exports commodities that are pretty low value added, that outside of resource booms, they may not command high prices, but we import stuff that is always expensive consumer and capital goods. Okay, so sometimes cheaper uh, or less lower value exports, but always higher cost imports, that's going to worsen box and worsen the current account deficit. Second thing, international competitiveness. Now this term means a country's ability to compete on global markets. Generally, the cheaper the exports, the more competitive they are. So we as a country, Australia, cannot compete with manufactured goods. China produces them at much lower prices. Okay, so if our manufactured 
goods which are higher prices and not being exported but we're importing them um, we're not very internationally competitive with the stuff that always gets high prices okay well that's going to worsen bogs and worsen the current account deficit the next thing is that commodity exports have volatile prices they suffer from large fluctuations in prices when uh, economic growth is very strong during resources boom price rises for commodities but when growth slows prices fall so that means that during times of slow global growth export revenues for Australia are often volatile and can fall below the payments required for imports so if the value of imports is higher than what we're getting for exports okay that's going to worsen bogs and worsen the current account deficit these are the structural or underlying factors that are why bogs leads to a current account deficit so in summary australia has a persistent cad outflows exceed inflows one of the factors that causes a cad is the performance of bogs and bogs is affected by cyclical and structural factors now this is quite a complex area so i suggest you go back take it slow through those cyclical and structural factors and make sure you understand how those factors lead to a current account deficit